20 gram of a magnesium carbonate sample decomposes on heating to give carbon dioxide and 8 gram of magnesium oxide. What will be the percentage purity of magnesium carbonate in the sample? Atomic weight of Mg is given. We have magnesium carbonate upon heating decomposes to magnesium oxide plus carbon dioxide. The stoichiometry here is 1 is to 1 is to 1. That means 1 mole of MgCO3 will give 1 mole of MgO and 1 mole of CO2. This is how we write the stoichiometric moles. Whatever is the coefficient that is there, we bring it to the denominator. And therefore, let us first find what would be the mass required if we have one mole. So let us say one mole of this, one mole of this, one mole of this. What would be the mass required? Because we know that number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. So if we find out the molar mass of all of them, then we can multiply with the number of moles and get the mass. So molar mass of everything in gram per mole. So MgCO3 24 plus 12 plus 3 times 16 and that will be equal to 84 and then for MgO 24 plus 16 that is 40 and then for CO2 it is 12 plus 2 times 16 that is 44. Therefore, when you have 84 gram of MgCO3 you will get 40 gram of MgO and 44 gram of CO2, isn't it? Because 1 mole here, N is 1 mole, mass we are finding it, molar mass here is 84 gram per mole. So, if you multiply, cross multiply, then per mole, mole will cancel and mass will become 84 gram, isn't it? Now, here it is given 8 gram magnesium oxide. So, if it is 8 gram, then there is a 1 by 5th factor is involved, isn't it? On the moles, we know the molar mass, okay. Mass is given as 8 gram, molar mass is 40 gram per mole. That means the number of moles is 1 by 5th, isn't it? And therefore, the same factor if we apply on the other side. So, 1 by 5th equal to x by 84 and therefore x equal to 84 by 5. Same we can do it for the carbon dioxide also. 1 by 5th equal to x divided by 44. So, 44 divided by 5 equal to x. But here we are not worried about the CO2. We need to find the purity of the sample and therefore the percentage purity mass of pure MgCO3 that is this one divided by total mass of the sample. Total mass of the sample given here is 20 gram and therefore 84 divided by 5 whole divided by this is into 100 because we are talking about percentage. Total mass of the sample is 20 times 100 and this will be 84 divided by 5 times 20 times 100. This will cancel out. And therefore, the percentage purity is 84 percent. That means 16 percent is impure. The sample is 16 percent impure. Whenever the sample is impure, the weight will increase. That is what you need to understand here. If the sample is 100 percent pure, then the total mass of the sample would have been how much? 16.8 because 84 divided by 5 is 16.8 gram. And the total mass of the sample also will be same, isn't it? 16 by 16.8 divided by 16.8 times 100. That means the sample is 100 percent pure. So, always try to remember that if there is impurity, then the mass is going to increase. That is what you need to understand in this. And therefore, option 2 is correct here.